And you're here, Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions, 704-966-1650, option three for free tech support, or you can find us at the web at statumusa.com. Go to the resources tab. There you can find a Midmark M11 slash M9 new style operator's manual and service manual to further troubleshoot. Error code Charlie980 is what we'll talk about. 980 is high limit thermostat open for at least 0.25 seconds during power up mode. Okay, first uh, cause is possibly maintenance is not performed. So we're gonna wanna refer to the maintenance, uh, the weekly and monthly maintenance video, which talks about your gaskets and your uh, chamber filter and draining the unit regularly. So uh, the next thing is sterilizer was unplugged, then plugged back in while thermostat was still tripped. So the error happened, you unplugged it, and th when you unplug it to reset it for an error, you should wait 60 seconds and then replug it back in. Uh, if the error code doesn't go away, then we'll go to the next step. Um, Verify if error was uh, preceded with other error code like we just talked about, but those errors might actually be 983 or C983 or C573. But furthermore, um, the cause could also be the high limit thermostat um, or loose or damaged wire connection. Connection. So the high limit thermostats are underneath the belly. Um, they work with the heating element. Basically when the chamber, if the chamber runs out of water, they trip as a safety mechanism. Um, and a lot of times it gets so hot under there that the, the connections, the wire connectors will melt. So you could visually inspect with a flashlight to see if you see any melt, uh, melted wires. If you do, then you will have to drain out all the water, flip the machine on its side, and then um, get in there and replace those connectors. And then we can first troubleshoot further. We can go further after that. So high limit thermostat malfunctioning uh, or looser damaged wires. Okay. So the next thing is if the unit skips the fill mode, um, make sure the tray rack, tray plate are, are installed properly. So they should sit in here, trays pushed back, um, should sit about an eighth inch inside the chamber and the door should shut nice and easy. So let's just verify that that's not a problem. Also a good practice is to pull all the instruments out, all the trays out, run an empty cycle if the problem persists then we really know there's a problem. It's not the fact that we overloaded the unit. Um, we're gonna look at the mesh filter. There's a mesh filter underneath here. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure that's clean. Refer to the weekly and monthly maintenance when it comes to the mesh, fan, uh, the mesh filter, uh, but that should be cleaned uh, with speed clean uh, and a toothbrush. Uh, the next thing is uh, if you're running back-to-back -back cycles in the office, that could also run this error code. This thing gets extremely hot um, and will intermittently fail. So let's let it cool down, run a cycle, and kind of see from there. Uh, it could be your water level sensors malfunctioning. That is also inside here underneath the trays. Um, and that works with the grounding circuit. This is the ground circuit. It connects to the water level sensor. Um, and on the green style boards, um, if there's a lot of buildup down here underneath the board, uh, rusting mainly, that could cause it to skip the fill cycle uh, because it's rusting. It's giving a faulty signal to the PC board telling it that it actually has water, or, but when it really doesn't. Um, okay, so from there, uh, we're going to go if the unit completes the fill mode. So that means it, obviously it's filling into the chamber and... Uh, for about 30 seconds, you see it on here, and then it goes chamber is full, and then starts heating up. From there, uh, it's we're going to make sure that the sterilizer is level. That's pretty obvious, but if it isn't, give us a call. We can talk you through it. Um, or and then we're going to start looking for pressure leaks. We're going to look around the chamber here, and make sure the door gasket isn't leaking. Um, we're going to come back here. Uh, and in the back right corner, there's a pressure relief valve. That, that's where it leaks. Um, so you pull on this here a little bit, or if you visually inspect, you'll see a puddle or steam coming out of there. Could be one of those things. Um, if you have the old style green boards, it could be a rectifier. This particular unit does not have a rectifier. But there's rectifiers on here um, that often go bad. We can replace those. Um, it could be a defective fill valve. If you haven't performed your, mo your monthly maintenance, weekly maintenance, uh, you're not draining the water regularly, it's building up biofilm, and you're basically sterilizing old water every single time. 
Um, it could cause the valves to clog and, and, and you can have issues there. They could be corroded because they're brass and, and maybe it's 10 years old and you have uh, corroded valves. Uh, that happens a lot with this air vent valve. There's a valve back here that corrodes oftentimes. We can inspect that, but we'd have to take the cover off. We can talk you through that if you're interested. Okay, so there's all the pressure leak spots. Also, if you got the side panel off, it could be leaking from here as well. Uh, these pop off and it just blows steam out that way. And then the unit runs out of water and then it overheats because the over temp thermostat uh, tripped it. It actually was doing its job, because it, but it has a leak, obviously. If the unit completes the fill mode continued, again, pressure leaks. Effective air valve, we talked about that. Pressure relief valve, we talked about that. Pressure tubing, yep. Uh, from there, we're gonna talk about the heating element. The heating element is obviously underneath the chamber. Um, you can look from under here, you can see if it's leaking. Um, you can have an ammeter, amp meter, uh, inductive ammeter on the wire here to make sure that the heater relay is actually working. We'd have to do a resistance test on the heating element itself to further test that one. Um, those will all have to be drained with water. The machine will be unplugged and we'll have some wrenches and we'll be you know, ready to get dirty. Um, but give us a call, I'd love to help you with that. It could be the PC board is malfunctioning, the heater relay is not sending power, the, we do fix the heater relays, main PC board repair. It could be fuse holders are defective. Um, and it could just be that the sterilizer was overloaded. So uh, make sure you watch this whole video because uh, if the sterilizer is overloaded, uh, you run an empty cycle. Um, you know, we didn't have to go through all that other stuff. So anyways, if you like this video, Charlie980, if you like this video, please share it. Follow us on our uh, page here and uh, stay tuned for more Midmark troubleshooting videos.